as always. Well, happy Friday, everyone. I've got uh, some uh, helpers with the forecast today. We've got Jasper and Louie, the Canadian bros. Uh, they're excited about the weekend and, yes, uh, also some treats, I must admit. So uh, let's get them fed and get into the forecast conditions. We've got high pressure in place, so beautiful conditions expected today. A little warmer than it was yesterday and not a whole lot going on weather-wise. We do have a front farther north. Oh, careful, Jasper. Uh, that will provide the potential for some showers into early Sunday morning. Uh, but we'll talk about that coming up in your long range forecast. Looking at winds, they are variable at the moment. Not going to be as strong out of the northwest as they were yesterday. And forecast conditions getting up to the mid 20s today in Toronto, up to near 25 in Peterborough, 26 in Montreal. So these temperatures are near average to slightly below, but we'll take it right as we look at your forecast conditions today. All that sunshine, even some comfortable sleeping weather overnight into Saturday. So will the sunshine continue? Jasper, come here. Okay, he's busy with the treats. He'll be back in the next weather segment. We'll talk about the long range forecast, what to expect this weekend. Uh, right, Jasper? Yes, sit down. Okay, yeah, all of that coming up. Well Oh, what a gorgeous start to the weekend, and we're looking at uh, temperatures uh, on the warmer side today as compared to yesterday. I know for some it was a little cool. Uh, we've also got uh, Jasper and Louie here. They don't mind the cooler conditions, but uh, I know many of you were likely wanting a bit more warmth, or at least some of you. Uh, we're going to get that today, up to near 25, 26 degrees, depending on where you are around southern Ontario and uh, southwestern Quebec. We're still going to get into some cooler conditions overnight, and that humidity is going to be... Uh, tolerable. Uh, it's when it starts to get that humidex above 35 is that when it starts to feel more heavy in terms of the air mass and sticky. Well, that's not going to be the case this weekend. Maybe early next week. As we take a look at the jet stream, we've got a ridging pattern in the west, that heat holding in that part of the country. As we head farther east, though, uh, we've got some cooler conditions that, are, that have moved in. And uh, Jasper, come here. Jasper, you want a treat? Just want to make sure he stays in the studio here and doesn't run off. As we look at your future cast, you can see uh, there he gets a treat. Uh, we, we've got sunshine today. Uh, we are watching out. There will be sunshine tomorrow for a front that will bring the potential for some scattered showers, especially through eastern Ontario as we head into Sunday morning. So that's something to watch out for. A bit of cloud cover around the GTA, possibly a scattered shower, but we're not expecting anything significant in terms of precipitation. And that will clear quite quickly as we head through the day on Sunday. Okay, so let's take a look at your weekend. 27 degrees on Saturday, 25 on Sunday. Uh, we see that humidity uh, come up a little bit on Monday and Tuesday. It looks like the next chance of wet weather will be mid next week. So that's good for the cleanup that continues from the flooding. And in Montreal, high 20s on Saturday, a little cooler in the wake of that front. And keep in mind, Saturday evening into early Sunday morning, the chance of some showers, but things will clear out quite nicely as we head into the afternoon. And you can see temperatures in the high 20s as we head into early next week. Okay, Jasper. Okay, these guys are busy uh, with their treats. Uh, I know there's so much going on this weekend. I hope you all have a great weekend. And we'll have, uh, well, we'll follow your forecast into the weekend as well. But overall, looking pretty good. And that's a look at it. An adorable forecast. Thanks, Ross. Well, that's our show. Chief Meteorologist Anthony Farnell joins us. He's got all the goods on what we can expect for the weekend. Of course, there's a lot going on in the city. A ton of events coming up and a lot of yeah. people wanting to know, what do I wear? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the uh, Jays are playing tonight. Yeah. The Dome is open for that game. Should be a fantastic weekend. And Shalima, of course, the Indy. Uh, and all of this with the backdrop of traffic. So let's talk uh, a bit about the weather because I know traffic is one thing. If you can take public transit, uh, it is going to be just beautiful. So at least we don't have flooded roads. <laughs> Lakeshore, the DVP, it's amazing where we've come from the beginning of the week when it was so wet and now the ground is starting to dry out and that will continue as we have a rather brisk wind tomorrow up to 20 kilometers per hour. A temperature near 28 during the middle of the day, around 3 p.m. is that high, uh, and a humidex of about 32. So that is some fantastic July weather. And it continues on Sunday uh, as we have just some morning clouds expected. I will talk a bit about the western heat because it has implications, believe it or not, in our weather forecast and smoke forecasting as well. 25 degrees, the high of the day now in Toronto. 33 in Saskatoon, 32 in Calgary, 38 today in Kamloops and Kelowna, even 
up in the Northwest Territories, highs near or above 30. And there are extensive heat warnings. There's also quite a bit of smoke from an extreme fire risk and a lot of lightning strikes, similar to what we had last year. Now, we're not quite at that level, not even close, in fact, to the fire starts we had in 2023. But we are making up for lost time, and that smoke is following the jet stream, and that brings it into parts of central and southern Ontario. This is a cold front, so we have lightning strikes here, but it's coming with rain at least. The wind shift behind it means that the smoke is going to be caught up right along that front. So let's forecast it with our modeling, and here. It goes late Saturday. You'll notice it up in cottage country. Uh, and then we may get another round of smoke early next week. So this is something until those fires go out at west that we're going to have to deal with from time to time. And that is definitely reminiscent of last summer. Any rain this weekend? Well, yes, but it's north of the city. And it does look like some showers Saturday evening diminish overnight. And then those clouds even get out of here by early Sunday. Good news for the Indy race on Sunday afternoon. 15 degrees for a low tonight in Toronto, 12 in Muskoka. Tomorrow it will be cooler north of that front boundary, 27 to 28 around the GTA. And over the next few days, it is nice. By the way, Saturday, 28. That is wrong, the 23. 27 for Monday and Tuesday, and then some thunderstorms by the middle of the week. Have a fantastic weekend. The dog walking forecast is brought to you by Ren's Pets, premium pet food, treats, and toys for your pet's best life. Last couple of days, we've had some pretty beautiful conditions outside, but what are we expecting for Saturday and Sunday? A lot of big events taking place throughout the city during the summer. Here's our chief meteorologist, Anthony Farnell, with more on that. Hey, Anthony. Good evening, Shalima. Let's get right to the temperature map because it is milder tonight than it was last night. There was actually a chill in the air, believe it or not. I know it's mid-July, but that first chill, when it turns into August, I start to get worried. Not now. This is still summer weather. 18 in London, 15 in Muskoka, 19 in Ottawa. The winds are relatively light. They are going to pick up tomorrow from the southwest. And then what we'll see late in the day is a cold front that starts to sink south. And that could bring some clouds to cottage country. Also, the risk of a shower late in the day and then a northwest flow. And there's the cold front. You can see it. There have been thunderstorms with it throughout the day today. None of that activity tomorrow, but maybe a shower. Out west, I know the sun is set, but this is all smoke. This is a smoke-filled sky that's reminiscent of last year. Uh, okay, these are clouds here, but they're thunderstorms that are bringing more lightning strikes to very dry terrain. Not what you want to see. And some of that smoke, by the way, late Saturday into Sunday could even impact the GTA. A hazy sky from what's going on out west. Throughout the day, sunshine, a few clouds, that's about it. 28 degrees during the afternoon. We'll talk more about Sunday and the next seven days when that next chance of real rain will be coming up. Premier Dunk Ford. From the SkyTracker Weather Center, Saturday hour by hour, 16 as the sun comes up at 6 a.m. And then by afternoon, we have a few clouds, but otherwise it is a beautiful day. 28 the forecast high with the humidex of 32. So it's still not sticky like it was last weekend. And even overnight, Saturday into Sunday, we're back into the teens. So comfortable weather for sleeping as well. Here's a look at where it's less comfortable, and you may want to shut your windows if you're watching us from, say, northern Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. There is smoke in the air and uh, fires along with very hot temperatures. Once again, uh, the heat warning extends through a rather large uh, real estate 
even including parts of the Northwest Territories where fires are still burning out of control as well. And all of that smoke, once it gets into the upper levels of the atmosphere, it tends to move quicker in our direction. And that's why there could be some smoke, upper level smoke, ahead of this cold front which will be moving through Saturday night into Sunday. So don't be surprised if there is a nice sunset, but also a bit of a veil on that uh, sunshine throughout the day. Our Futurecast model keeps that northwest flow going, so we may have another round of smoke. This is Tuesday, reminiscent of last year. Not the same level of fire activity, but Things are changing out west. Here's our Futurecast model showing the clouds and that risk of showers. Muskoka it wouldn't be till late Saturday. Um, Bancroft as well. And then Sunday morning, some clouds in Toronto, but I don't think we're going to get any rain with this. However, there may be Northumberland County, St. Thomas, Brantford, London. There could be a shower uh, Sunday afternoon. Everybody else stays dry. But for how long? I know we are still cleaning up from the floods last week. So every nice sunny day feels fantastic. And by the time we do get widespread rain, we'll probably need it. And there is that risk of storms Wednesday and Thursday. But this is not a repeat of what we just went through earlier this week. That's a check on your forecast. I do want to end with your dog walking forecast and tomorrow morning is looking great. We're going to see temperatures that climb to about 23 degrees at 10 a.m. with nothing but sunshine. Have a fantastic weekend. CKW is a presentation of Ganshev Buick GMC Cadillac. Look for their new dealer app available on Google Play and the iTunes App Store.